everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making this super fabulous princess shoulder armor. This is part of my Halloween costume, so if you are a fan of Zelda or any of the Zelda games or any game really or any princess, warrior princess, this is the project for you. This is super fun to make. It's a lot of little pieces. It's kind of tedious, but even a beginner could make this. We are working with uh, chaining. We are doing single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet. We're working working around floral wire. So let me just get into the supplies and we'll get into some frequently asked questions with measurements and then we'll get into making this beautiful piece. So supplies, big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn today. We are using Red Heart Soft. You can get any type of golden color or any color you want, but I'm I'm doing like golden color. And this specific color that I'm using is called Wheat. It's, a, it's like a tan color, but it has a sheen to it because it's the soft yarn, so it is more golden. Uh, and that's what it looks like for me. This is a size medium yarn. It is size four worsted weight. It's very similar to an, um, let me see, not an Aran yarn, it's thinner than that, like a double knitting type of yarn. So that's more of what it's like. And this is just 100% acrylic yarn, soft yarn. You're going to need about 250 yards of this. I would just get one skein of of yarn for this project. Also for the little jewels I'm using here on this project, I just used scraps of this blue. This is Red Heart Super Saver yarn. This is also a size 4 medium yarn and the color I used is called Delft Blue, but like I said you could use any blue or any jewel color uh, that you want for your jewels to look um, like. So that's just, you don't need a whole lot of that, just scraps of that because in this project we have just these uh, six pieces up here, then this jewel in the center, and then on the inside of each shoulder we have a jewel as well. So very little amount of the blue is needed, but majority of this is the golden color, that wheat um, soft yarn back there. Also you're going to need some floral wire. You can find this in the silk flower aisle at any craft store or even at Walmart. I will also put a link in the description of this video where you can get this. Uh, it's, you can also find it on Amazon, really anywhere. Just a craft floral wire and this one I believe I got it at Joanne Fabrics I think or maybe I just got it at Walmart but you can obviously see the label and get something like this. It's very thin wire, um, perfect for bending everything and in this project I'm we're working around each of these pieces and it's actually around the edge of this so this can fit around your shoulder and you can't even tell it's in there. It's really nice and it'll keep its shape then. You're also going to need a G hook, which is four millimeters. I'm using a G6 hook, which is 4.25 millimeters. And this specific hook I'm using, I've been using these in all of my videos. It is one of the most fabulous crochet hooks I have ever used. It is a hand carved ergonomic wooden handled hook. You can get it at the Etsy shop, would be fancy. Again, I'll put the link in the description of this video so you can get one of these fabulous hooks because they are a wonderful for long-term crocheting for an, any crochet enthusiast and the holidays are coming up and I just think that this would be a great gift for anybody who would love uh, this crochet hook so make sure you check that out also you're going to need a scissors a yarn and a yarn needle just for cutting your yarn sewing an end sewing pieces together we're sewing a lot of pieces together today so those tools come in handy and if you want to use a measure tape you can I actually have a link in the description for this specific measure tape if you want to get uh, this little lamb. I think that's so fun for any crochet artist or knitting artist would love one of these as well. So this piece, speaking of measuring, um, we can measure this piece out. Across this whole piece is 20 inches across. Okay, from the very outside of this side to the very outside of this side, it's 20 inches, okay? And 20 inches is 51 centimeters, okay? That's how big mine is. Now, you can adjust this to your size, just chain less or make these, you know, pieces smaller. You can also use a smaller crochet hook, but my pattern that I'm writing for you, and that's free on my website, you can, it's just gonna be for this piece. You can uh, follow along with that pattern if you need to adjust it to fit you, that's totally fine. This chest piece right in the middle here from end to end is, should be 10 inches. It's about 10 inches across there. 
okay? And 10 inches is uh, 26 centimeters, or about 25 centimeters, okay? And if you flip this around, you, well, you can see on the sides here, we also are making these in the inside here. So this will sit on your shoulder, and you'll see then this is the outside, and this will be over the shoulder. This is the front of the piece, and then let's flip this around. You can see the back side of this piece, and you can see that in the photos as well. We just have this straight across the back. You can embellish this however much you want but this piece back here is about 15 inches okay about 15 inches I would say it's about 14 and a half inches okay and that is 36 centimeters 37 centimeters or so so that's how big this piece is but like I said you can chain less make it smaller bigger your foundation chain can be um, as wide as you need it to be for all of these pieces and you can see here we sew a lot of pieces together you can see there's the wire in that piece right there so we are using the wire and it's gonna be poking out but it's on the inside so you won't uh, see it and your Halloween costume will be complete so if you want to use this for your Halloween costume or for some cosplay or whatever you are interested in these are a great armor to make for a warrior princess now before we begin, I do have to mention there are links in the description of this video. There's links to get all of these supplies that you need for this project. There's a link to the written pattern for this project on my website, yarnutopia.com. While you're on my website, yarnutopia.com, be sure to support us. Now, later this year, maybe early, early next year, uh, I'll be moving and uh, my dad is going to continue to be our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of our video tutorials. So. Please support Yarn Utopia so we can continue to bring you clear quality crochet tutorials like this one even after I get married and move into my new home. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, there will be an added expense for more traveling between our houses and everything, so hopefully that won't deter us from the ability to provide the consistent crochet tutorials to all of you, so make sure you hit that donate button on our website, please. Also, um, there's a link to the Facebook and Instagram. Make sure to follow me on both both social media sites subscribe to my channel here on YouTube that's very greatly appreciated so you can continue to get a uh, notification when we post our next video so that is all the information if you have more questions you can always leave a comment to this video or message me on Facebook and I will be glad to answer any questions you may have but let's just get started and make this fabulous project the princess shoulder armor Let's make the top of the shoulder first. So let's start out with a slip knot in the gold yarn. So, or the golden yarn, this is actually called wheat. Uh, put your short end over your long end, fold this down, and then pull that through and pull tight. Insert your hook into that loop and pull it tighter and we can start. So for the top part of the shoulder, uh, we need to chain 21. So yarn over and pull through. One, yarn over, pull through. Two, here's three. I'm not gonna make you watch me chain 21, so just chain 21 and I will meet you up for row one. All right, I've just chained 21 here. This is what it should look like and this measures about uh, five and a half inches across here so I'm measuring at this point so it's about five and a half inches so what we're going to do now is single crochet in the second chain from the hook and all the way across but what I'm going to do is turn the chain toward me like this and you can see these back ridges on these chains here those that's where I'm going to insert my hook behind there so there's a clean edge on this end here so let's go in the second chain the loop on the hook doesn't count so count one and two right in here we're gonna go into that chain in the back ridge then yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay just like that okay then do that in each chain across. So go in the back ridge of this next chain right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. 
that's a single crochet. So we're just putting one single crochet into each chain all the way across and you should have 20 single crochets on row one. So I'm just going to single crochet across and then I will meet you up for row two. Alright, just finishing my last single crochet here. That was row one. So this is what your sh piece should look like. So now going on to row two, we are going to chain up one. Okay, for every row here on out, we're going to chain one. Turn the work around. And now rows two through 45, we're going to start in this first stitch right here and single crochet. And we're just going to single crochet into each stitch across. And that is for 20 single crochets on each row. Then when you finish the row, just chain one and turn, just like I showed you here. And then single crochet across. That's for rows 2 through 45. Okay, so we're making just a big rectangular piece, just a flat piece. Once I am finished with row 45 and have my big uh, rectangular piece, I'll meet you up because we will be uh, um, adding the wire and crocheting around this piece. So just single crochet in your piece across uh, for until row 45 or however long you need this to be to cover your shoulder. And I will meet you up when I'm finishing row 45. Alright, just finishing row 45 here. That was pretty quick. So now I'm going to pull up this loop here just to show you what my work is looking like here. It's just a big rectangle. Okay, and if you measure it, lay it out on your ruler here, measure this piece out. It should be about 10 inches. Yes, it looks like it's close to 10 inches almost like nine and three quarters, which is fine because we are going to be crocheting around this whole piece now, uh, adding the wire. So once you finish row 45, this is what your piece should look like, just a big rectangle. So now what we're going to do, I'm gonna insert my hook back into that loop right there. We're going to chain one, just like we would start a new row, and we're going to grab that floral wire here, okay? And we are going to unwind it much as we need to. Okay, We're going to keep it attached to the spool while we crochet with it. Okay, And what we're going to do is I'm going to turn my work around like I'm starting a new row, so row 46 here, and I'm going to put this, okay you see how I'm holding everything here, I'm going to put the uh, yarn over the top of the wire and I'm going to put the wire behind everything. Okay, so behind the yarn, behind my hook, and kind of putting it close to my piece. Okay, just like that. So my hook is over the top of it, and this yarn is over the, my working yarn is over the top of it. Now you want about uh, four to five inches out, so extra, in case you pull and mani manipulate it. Um, that way it won't, you know, slide under your stitches and you'll have enough room. But we will be cutting this to waste later. So what we're going to do is single crochet just like we were in each row, but we're going to be working around this wire now. So I'm going into the first stitch there. We're going to yarn over with our yarn and pull it through and you can see that it's around the wire now. Okay, just like that. And then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, so now our wire is secure in that stitch. So we're going to do that now working in each stitch all the way around this piece now working around the wire. So go into the stitch, make sure your wire is on your stitches, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, just always remember to keep more on this end here so that it doesn't, you know, go underneath or slide through your stitches and then you lose your wire because then you will have to take your piece apart because this wire does not, it's not very easy to weave your wire underneath um, the stitches. So that's why we have to crochet over the top of it. 
And this technique I'm also using in my flowers, in my roses that I'm crocheting for my wedding. So I will be doing tutorials on that way later, but I, um, yeah, I'm gonna, you're gonna need some floral wire for those crocheted flowers as well. So I just got a big spool of it and now I'm just using it for other things too. And we're just crocheting around this piece. I do want you to see though how to turn the corner and go up the side. So, so I'm just keep watching. I just have a few more stitches left here. See, there we go. Okay. And also, if you feel like you're running out of wire, you can always just unwind some more. Okay, so when you come up to a corner, just put three single crochets in each corner. So in this corner stitch here, I'm gonna put three single crochets in there. Always work around the wire. One, two, and three. And now I'm turning this like this, so we're working up the side now, okay? And basically wherever your hook fits is where you should put a single crochet. So right in each row, basically, around that last stitch, just put a single crochet. Okay, in this stitch here, single crochet. Always working around the wire. Okay, going in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And that's how you do it. And then when you get to the next uh, corner, just put three crochets, uh, three single crochets in there, and then go on to the bottom foundation row and work across there always working over your wire and then three single crochets in the next corner and then work up the opposite side. So I'm going to do that all the way around this piece and once I come up to finishing I'll show you how to fasten off and cut your wire and the yarn and everything and we can go on to the next step. All right, finishing this, I'm putting two more single crochets where we started because there's one right here, and then I'm going to add the two other ones for the corner. And then we can fasten this part off, so let's slip stitch into this first single crochet right here. And what I'm going to do now is wrap around these two wires. You can see both of the wires now are meeting. So what we're going to do is wrap around both of them, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook, just like that. And then come back around with this yarn and yarn over, pull through and through, just like this, or just pull through to chain one. And then we're gonna cut this yarn. Do not cut the wire with your scissors. You will ruin your scissors. You need a wire cutter for that. So let's pull this through and pull this tight to fasten that off. And then grab your wire cutter, and what we're going to do is cut these two wires about an inch out. Okay, so right about here, I'm going to snip that. And then, what we're going to do is twist these around. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is bend these to the back of our work. Okay, so I flipped this over and I'm just going to bend it up the side. Okay? And that's going to be on the inside of the shoulder piece, so nobody's even going to see this. You can even try to weave it underneath some of the yarn, some of the stitches, but it's really difficult to weave it through, so it might take some time for you to kind of push it in there, just to hold it down. Just like that. Then grab your yarn needle and yarn your needle with that little strand that we cut when we fastened off. And let's sew this in underneath some of these stitches right here. Just like that. And then cut your yarn. Okay, so that piece is done. Now, what I did off camera here is I made a little embellishment, and this is what we're going to make next. So, what we need to do, I made this one off camera, we're going to make one exactly the same way, so I'll show you what I did, and then you can just make this one yourself. So, what I did was I took my yarn from the ball of yarn and made a chain, and if you saw the other day when I made um, the 
the gloves for this costume. I chained and then sewed them on and I'm not perfect at it. I'm not a pro at that, but it looks pretty decent for the costume. So if you want to do this too, you can if you want the embellishment. If you want your shoulder pads or shoulder pieces to be completely plain, you do not have to add this embellishment at all. So just skip over this part of the video. But I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to grab some yarn and we're going to make a chain. So let's make a slip knot first, put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and then pull this through and pull tight. Okay, insert your hook. And just like I showed you in the beginning of this video, I'm going to chain 75. So just yarn over and pull through. One, two, three. I'm not going to make you watch me chain 75. So just chain either 75 or an amount that you want to make the swirly S uh, looking thing. So um, chain the amount you need and then I'll meet you up and we will attach this to that piece. All right, I just am finishing my chain here. There we go. So I chained 75, as you can see here, it's just a long chain. So what we're going to do is cut this yarn kind of long because we are going to use it for sewing. So I'm just gonna snip that and then just pull it through your last chain. Okay, just keep pulling, just like that and pull tight. Okay, then what we're going to do is grab this piece and you can see I've done this one already on this side So we're gonna just flip this over and make one on this side So I'm gonna show you how to make it on this side But you can just add that one later or you could just do one totally up to you So what we're going to do next is take the side with a short end that we made that slip knot uh, Right there. We're gonna put that on first at the top. You want to get about the halfway point Okay, so measure about halfway and that's where the top of your S swirl should go and What we're going to do is kind of just guide it How we need it to be so just swirl it around basically and this part you want to take your time on, okay? Because if you are in a hurry, you can get your pieces, your chain all bunched up and it can get kind of, it can kind of look weird. So let's see here. We want to swirl it. Oh, maybe I'm swirling it wrong. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Sorry, guys. We're going to swirl it underneath. There we go. And around okay there we go and then down and around okay so it's gonna look something like this and you can make it spread it out and make sure that it looks good and Make sure that it fits, everything looks decent. There we go. Okay, so then what we're going to do, once it's all in place where we want it, okay, if you want to, you can pin this down to keep its shape, totally up to you. I'm gonna take my hook, go from the back here and take this little strand, the short strand, and just pull it through, just like that. So I just pulled that all the way through. So that side is pretty secure. Okay, then I'm going to take my yarn needle with that long strand. Oh my goodness, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, see, that happens. It'd be nice if you just pin it down. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> that scared me. Okay, whatever. So we're going to take the long strand here and yarn our needle with that. <laughs> and start sewing. Now you can, you know, turn this how you need it to look and how you need it to be, you know, turn your piece, manipulate it how you want and just be comfortable with it so you can attach it easily. Oh man, now my ass looks all messed up. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold it with one hand and go in to the piece, into the rectangle piece with my yarn, okay? And then just kind of feel in the back there, right here, and just come out the chain, okay? And just sew it on, just going back and forth, in and out of this piece here, and then come back through 
to this piece. And if you wanted to, you could change the color of the chain. You can make it a colored S um, swirly, or you can make it uh, the same color like me. I'm doing the same color. And it's nice to do the same color so that if you do have mistakes, it's very, very difficult to see the mistakes in your work, <laughs> which is nice because obviously I'm not pro at this this part of the work. I like to crochet it, but sewing on other pieces is not my forte. So I'm just going to sew this on. I'm going to take my time so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing, but I'm going to sew this other piece on. And then what I need you to do is just sew, um, make another S swirly and sew it on like this one. And then you'll have the two. And then once you have both of those sewn on, then we can go on to making the other piece of this shoulder. All right, so you want to end this with the on the inside here, so on the other side. And then what we're going to do is tie these two strands in a knot. Ooh, I feel a sneeze coming on. <laughs> anyway, if I sneeze, excuse me. But um, what we're going to do is just tie this in a knot, just like this in the back. And then I'm going to chop these to be the same height. And we're going to grab our yarn needle and sew in these two ends just like this underneath the stitches okay and then we can just cut any extra and that's on the inside nobody's even going to see that flip it over and you have your nice swirlies so yeah just do the other side just like that so now you have two swirlies on this shoulder and what we're going to do is have it like this so this is the front this is the back or vice versa and now we just have to make the piece that goes on this uh, flat side right here okay to cover the side of the shoulder. So I'm gonna set this aside, grab some more yarn, and we'll get started on that piece. All right, we're gonna start out with, just like we started out the first piece, we're going to make a slip knot, and we're going to chain 21. So uh, if you need to, you can rewind this to the top piece, this piece that we made already. We are starting it out just like we were this piece. So chain 21, single crochet in the second chain from the hook and across. So you have your 20 stitches. Now I'm gonna chain 21, I'll single crochet in the second chain and across for row one, and I'll meet you up for row two. All right, I just finished row one, so just like we did the first piece, it just looks very simple, like this single crocheted across. We have 20 stitches, okay? So now, for rows two through 10, we're just going to chain one and single crochet in each stitch across, including this first stitch right here, okay? So this is our first stitch right there. Just covering it there we go right there then just yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and we're just single crocheting across then chain one and turn your work around and then single crochet across and that's for rows two through ten only okay not row 45 like our first piece just till row 10 once I'm finished with row 10 we have to actually round out the bottom. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, when I finish row 10, I will meet you up and we'll go on to row 11 together. All right, just finishing row 10 here, just like that. So this is what your piece should look like now, just a little mini rectangle. So now for row 11, we are going to decrease. So chain up one and turn your work around. And what we're going to do is single crochet two together. So go into this first stitch right here. Okay, that first stitch there. Then yarn over and pull that through. And go directly into the next stitch right here. And yarn over and pull that through. So now we have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And that is a single crochet decrease. Now we're just going to single crochet in all the stitches until we only have two stitches remaining. Okay, so when there's two stitches left, we're going to 
single crochet those two together which I'll show you you can actually just continue watching I'm sure you know how to do a single crochet by now so just single crochet in each stitch until the end of this row and I'm almost there so you can just keep watching here when you have those two stitches remaining right here we're gonna single crochet those two so go in this first one here yarn over pull through go into the last stitch right here yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops okay so on row 11 you should have 18 stitches across okay going on to the next row whoopsie lost my loop don't lose your loops <laughs> go on to row 12 chain up one and turn your work and we're going to repeat row 11 okay so we're going to single crochet two together and then single crochet until there's two stitches left and we're going to single crochet those two together then chain one and go on to the next row and we're actually doing repeating row 11 until we only have six stitches left so on this row row 12 you should have 16 stitches at the end of this row because we're single crocheting the first two stitches together and the last two stitches together so we're eliminating two stitches every row so last row the row 11 had 18 stitches this row row 12 has 16 stitches then the next row is a repeat also so we, that should have 14 stitches then row 14 will have 12 stitches row 15 will have 10 stitches row 16 will have eight stitches and row 17 will have the six stitches so I'm just going to repeat row 11 until I have six six stitches left and when I finish row 17 because that will be when I have the six stitches left I'll meet you up do not fasten off I will meet you up and we will add the wire because we have to crochet around the wire around this whole piece all right I have six stitches now finishing row 17 here now what we have to do is exactly like we had the first piece so we're done now with this piece this is how it should look okay so we did that decrease here here so it's coming in but we want to round this out so we don't have these sharp straight edges we're gonna round it out when we crochet around this piece but we're gonna add the wire so let's grab that floral wire here okay just like we used for the first piece we're going to unwind it as much as we need and then we're going to put it behind the yarn and our hook okay behind the working yarn and our hook pull out enough here I am going to chain one and turn my work actually okay and we're just going to single crochet across this row here make sure it's behind everything there we go Ooh. okay yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through too and now it's secure in there not fully secure it could slide out so just make sure you have enough on this side and if you need to you can rewind to see this piece and how I attach the um, wire around this piece as well it's exactly the same way so if you need to rewind this otherwise just crochet around this piece making sure the wire is secure underneath your stitches and once I have finished crocheting around this piece I will meet you up we'll cut all of the the yarn and the wire and sew in some ends and everything and we'll go on to making the next piece all right I'm just fastening this off slip stitching to the first stitch exactly how we did that first piece when we crocheted around it adding the wire chaining one here and cutting this yarn and then pulling it all the way through and pulling tight then grabbing the wire cutters and snipping these wires and then twisting these oops twisting them around okay just like that then fold those up to the inside 
of this piece okay exactly like that other piece and you can try to weave these in underneath some of the stitches but it's always so difficult to do that so yeah okay and then I'm just gonna weave in that end with my yarn needle just yarn the needle and sew in this end just like we did the first piece so then once you have this done we are going to make the little jeweled piece that goes on the outside of this okay so go back to the outside here make sure that this is all pulled tight it's all rounded so it should be a half circle here okay looking thing just like this so what we're going to do this is actually going to bend like this um, to cuff around your arm on the inside there but what we want to do is embellish this first and then we'll attach it to our shoulder piece so what we're going to do is grab some blue yarn for the jewel and I'm gonna set that aside there we're going to start off with a slip knot you know how to do that already we're gonna make the jewel here real quick it's very small so we're going to chain two one and two and in that second chain from the hook we're gonna put six single crochets so go into that second chain right over here yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two so there's one go back in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two there's two go back in here's three here's four five and six now if you need to you can insert a stitch marker I don't actually have a stitch marker here well we'll use this yarn I snipped earlier and what we're going to do is put two single crochets in each stitch around so the stitch marker just marks where my round starts and here's my first single crochet right here so we're gonna go into that one and make two single crochets in there one and two Okay, just like that and two in each stitch around so go to the next one here and put two single crochets in there one and two okay hop to the next and repeat two in that one at the end of row two, or round two on this jewel here we should have 12 single crochets because we're putting two single crochets in each stitch and I'm almost done so you can just continue watching and I will show you how to fasten off okay last stitch right here we're back to the beginning where our stitch marker is awesome so you can remove the stitch marker go into the very next stitch right here to slip stitch so go in yarn over pull through and pull through and then chain one we're gonna cut our yarn long for sewing and pull it all the way through that chain one there and then pull tight then we're gonna grab our yarn needle and you can see here I have a little mini hole right there which I'm just gonna eliminate by sewing in this little end so I'm gonna take this little straggler okay if you started with the magic ring or a magic circle you could have done that and you wouldn't have this circle or this opening in the center but I'm just gonna sew in my ends at the base of the stitches of round one and then cinch that tight and that should eliminate that little hole and then I can easily just cut the yarn there and that's gonna be behind that piece so you should just have a little circle here so then we're going to sew this on to our piece right in the center right about here let me make sure I have it yep right in the center right there so grab your yarn needle yarn your needle with that long strand that we cut for sewing and we're just going to go into this piece and then out both layers and just back and forth similar to how we sewed on those swirly pieces of those S's on this uh, top part of the shoulder okay so I'm just gonna sew this on and then oh you know what I'm almost all the way around so you can just again continue watching I'm going to show you how to fasten this piece off 
Okay, go to the inside. Make sure everything looks good on the outside. Flip this over. Go underneath a few of the stitches. Keep your finger in that loop. And then come back through that loop. Remove your finger and pull tight. Okay, and you can do that once or twice. And then what we're going to do is go underneath between the two layers. So I'm between this uh, shoulder layer and this applique layer. I'm between them and I'm sewing in this end. Just like that, grabbing my scissors and cutting any extra. Okay, just like that. Awesome. Now, just one last detail on this piece. We want to uh, make two chains. Two chains. Ha. <laughs> and they're golden, so that's even funnier. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're going to sew these on like this. Sort of. So, I made the two ch two chains, um 15 chains, okay? So I made one like this. And then I'm going to make one like this. And I'm going to attach them exactly how we attach these S's here, these swirlies, okay? So I'm gonna attach these two on here and you can, you know, use the photos for reference or use um, this video after I attach them. You can obviously see them uh, for reference on your piece, but I am going to attach these and then I'll meet you up and we will go on to the next step. All right, so I just attached these two here just for a little extra detail and dimension. So now this is what your piece should look like, okay? And we're going to introduce now this piece that we had finished earlier, and we're going to flip this over, okay? So looking at the back side of it. And you wanna, mention, or you wanna see where the center is, okay? So we're looking at the center here right here is where we're going to attach this piece. Now decide which side you want to the outside. So do you want it looking like this or do you want this side to be the outside? Okay, whichever side this is facing outward is going to be the outside, okay? So I'm going to flip this over and we're going to curve this. Okay, you want to curve it like this. So it's going to wrap around your arm and you can even, here, let me get my shoulder in here. You can even go like this, kind of curve it around your arm like that. Okay. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to put it on here just like that. Okay. And we're going to go in about an inch. Okay. About an inch in just like this. We're going to take the yarn from our ball of yarn and take our yarn needle here and yarn our needle with that. And then we're just going to go in fro into this piece here into this both layers, okay? So I'm going to try to show you without getting my hand in the way. We're going to go into a few stitches here. Sorry, my hand's in the way, I know, but I'm going to go underneath a few stitches there and then into this piece here, okay? Pull out a bunch of yarn, and we're just going to whip stitch this together, okay? So just take your time with this and how it should, you know, be, but just go underneath a couple of the stitches on this piece and then go up into this piece here. And then just pull. Okay. And you just don't want to lose the shape of, you know, the curve of this shoulder, side shoulder piece. Okay. So we're just going to go into each stitch and, um, attach it to this flat piece and take your time. Just take your time. That's all I can advise you really to do is take your time and attach this together. And once I've attached it all together, I'll meet you up because I'll show you how to fasten off both ends 
um, because this end is still attached to the ball of yarn and this end will have to fasten off so I'll show you how to do it when I get there but just uh, you know whip stitch this all the way around or all the way across alright so I'm just finishing here what we're gonna do to fasten off again just like I showed you earlier is pull this through a couple stitches keep your thumb in there and then go back around through that loop remove your thumb and pull tight and that secures it okay and you can do that once or twice and then what we're just gonna do is just sew in this end underneath these stitches Okay, and then just cut any extra just like that okay and then you can pull this down here like this or up I guess fold this up and you can just tack it in right there okay and that's I'll just use this extra piece of yarn here that I just snipped so you can see that we'll just go in from this side out to here Okay, and then just back in. Okay, and then just tie those two in a knot. I mean, you could decide to sew it all the way up, but that's, I mean, that's up to you. But that looks good. Just like that. Okay. Awesome. Then this side is going to do the same thing, so I'm just going to snip this yarn that was attached to the ball of yarn. We're going to fasten this side off just the same way, going into a couple of the stitches. Okay, keeping our finger in the loop, coming back through the loop, and then pulling tight. Okay, weave in that end underneath some stitches I know I've shown you the, all of this already so I'll go a little faster and then just snip that and then fold this up okay equal go in this piece out this piece and then back in okay and then just tie those two in a knot okay and then trim and then we just have to sew in those ends but there it is the shoulder part is finished okay you can kind of manipulate it how you need it to look on the shoulder you can put it on your shoulder I'll put it on the shoulder here kind of slide it on I don't know if you can see it very well turn toward the camera a little bit so you can see and you can see in the pictures too that it looks better <laughs> in the pictures but uh, yeah you can manipulate it how you want obviously these are not going to stay on your shoulders by themselves I need you to just rewind this make another one exactly like this so you have two of them here's both of mine are here okay and they look pretty similar pretty cl got pretty close on those so that's cool they look pretty good so I'm just gonna sew in these ends and then we have to make the chest piece the front piece and the back piece so that these shoulder pieces stay on um, and I'll show you how to make the front chest piece first so let me sew in these ends and I'll meet you up and we'll do that next all right, so I just sewed in my ends on this shoulder piece. So we have these two shoulder pieces all finished. So once you've finished with both of your shoulder pieces here, we have the two shoulders there. So now what we want to do is make this piece. I'm making, I made one off camera for this side, and then we have to make one opposite of this. So this triangular piece with these jewels are going to be on the opposite side. So we're going to make the front chest piece 
and all, all of these pieces and then a half circle to go behind all of this with a jewel in that. So um, we're going to make the front chest piece first and then when we're finished with all these pieces we're going to make the back piece. So I'm going to set this aside, we're going to make this half circle circular thing here. This It looks like, like a crescent moon almost like this. We're going to make this piece first and you can see there's a wire in there so we attached a wire on the outer layer and then we're going to make a triangle and then we're going to make these little drops here that look like jewels. So let's set this aside and get started. Grab your gold yarn or the wheat, it's um, Red Heart Soft in wheat. We're going to make a slip knot just like I showed you earlier in this tutorial. And for that crescent moon looking thing, we are going to chain 16. So yarn over and pull through. One, two, three. I will make you watch me chain 16. So just chain 16 and I'll meet you up for row one. All right, so you should have a chain that looks something like this. And if you want to, you can measure that out to make sure that it is the length you need it to be about three and a half, four inches or so, so it's about four inches, which is about 10 centimeters, okay? So that's how long my chain is. Going on to row one for this piece, we are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in the next two chain, two chains. So the loop on the hook doesn't count as anything, so count one and two, this second chain here, and what I did, just like I did earlier, turn the chain toward me, right, like this. In this second chain here, I'm gonna go in, in the back ridge, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops, just like that, single crochet. Now in these next two chains, we are going to put a single crochet in those as well. So go into this chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Next chain right here, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Now in the next three chains, we are going to put a half double crochet in each one of those. So yarn over, go into this next chain here, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, that's a half double crochet. So a next chain, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And the next chain as well, a half double crochet goes in there. All right, now in the next three chains, we are going to put a double crochet in each one of those. So yarn over, go into this next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's our double crochet. So there's one, yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, oops, there we go, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, and the next chain, just put a double crochet in there. Okay, now in the next three chains, we are going to put a half double crochet. So just half double crochet, remember pull through all three loops for a half double crochet. So we're gonna need three more of those. So one, here's two, and three. You should have three chains left. In those last three chains, we're going to put a single crochet in each one of those. So one, two, and three. Awesome. So this is what your piece should look like so far. Okay, we're gonna start making it curvy, curved. So row two, says to chain one and turn your work around. So we're looking at the back side here. And we are going to slip stitch in these first three stitches. So our slip stitch, we're gonna pull up a loop just a hair, just like that, okay, on our hook. And we're gonna go into this very first stitch right here. Yarn over and pull through and pull through that loop on your hook, but do not pull it tight. We are going to be working in that stitch in the next row. So just leave that um, pulled just a little bit, but not too tight. Okay, then kind of pull up your loop hair just like that. Go into the next stitch right here. Yarn over, pull through, 
and pull through that loop on your hook. But again, don't pull tight. Okay, pull up that loop of hair and do it the next stitch as well. Slip stitch in there. Boom. So there's three slip stitches in a row. Now we're going to put two half double crochets in each of the next three stitches. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And again, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. So there's two half double crochets in that one stitch. Hop to the next and do the same thing. Put two half double crochets in that next stitch, and again in this next stitch here. Two half double crochets. One and two. You'll start to see that we are making more of a curve on our piece coming up like this. Now in these next three stitches, we are going to put two double crochets in each one of those. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Again, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And there you have two double crochets in there. So I'll do the same thing in the next stitch, Put two double crochets in there, and the next stitch also. Two double crochets, one and two. Now in these next three stitches right here, we are going to put two half double crochets in there, just like the opposite side of this where we were starting. So one and two in there, hop to the next, Put two half double crochets in there, one and two, and this next one as well, two half double crochets. Now you should have three stitches left. We are going to slip stitch in those last three stitches. So remember just the start of this row, we are going to go in, yarn over, pull through and through. Don't pull too tight. Go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through and through and the last stitch. Go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. And that was row two. So now chain up one, turn your work around. Okay, you can see that it is looking more like a crescent. It almost looks like a banana. <laughs> anyway, uh, going on to row three, we are going to start off like we started the last row. So we're gonna slip stitch into these first three stitches and you might have to turn this toward you to see the first three stitches. Let's go into this first one right here. Okay, you can see it right there. We're gonna go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, the next stitch as well. Go in, yarn over, pull through, and through, and the next stitch also. So slip stitch into the first three stitches. Now we are going to half double crochet in the next 18 stitches. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So there's one, next stitch just half double crochet in 18. So I'm just gonna count here, one, two, three, here's four, I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Five, here's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oops, there we go. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oops, I lost my loops. Losing loops. 15, 16, 17, and 18. And you should have the three stitches left. We're gonna slip stitch in those last three stitches. So just go into this next one, yarn over, pull through and through. And this next one here. Go in, yarn over, pull through and through. And our last stitch. Go in, yarn over, pull through and through. Okay, so this is what your work should look like right now. Now what we're going to do is not fasten off, we're gonna add the wire and single crochet around this whole thing. So let me 
grab my, I think I put my wire away actually. Do, 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 do. I did. I don't know why I put it away. Grab that floral wire, unwind it. Okay, what we're going to do is chain one and then turn your work around. Okay, remember, add the wire behind everything. Pull that out and just single crochet in each stitch around. So working around the wire, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Next stitch, and we're just going to single crochet around this whole thing exactly how we did the pieces for the shoulder, you know, attaching this wire. So you already know how to do that, so I'm gonna do that all the way around this piece, and then I'll meet you up and we'll start making the next piece. All right, I'm just, um, Fastening off just like I did the other pieces. I did the slip stitch to the first stitch, chain one, cut my yarn, pull it through, and pull tight. Then I'm going to cut my wire also, just very short. And then we're going to take this piece and kind of manipulate it to how we need it to be. So more of like a crescent or a banana, whatever you see. <laughs> Maybe I'm hungry. Anyway, just twist these wires and then fold them in the back behind your work. And then weave in your ends behind this piece. And now what you need to do is just make one more of these Okay, so you have two of these pieces because we need one on each side. Okay, I'll sew in this end in a minute, but here is the piece, what it should look like. Okay, you can kind of shape it to be more of a crescent style. And then the next, the other one, see how I have two here? This one has this attached to it, but if you look at the back side, um, they're the same. Okay, so you want to make two of those side by side. We're going to have them then, just like this in the front of our chest. Okay, and we're going to make a half circle in a minute, but I'm going to make the triangle piece next, just like this piece and those jewels. So let's set all of this aside and go on to making that piece. So grab your same colored yarn, make that slip knot. Okay, and for the triangle, we are going to chain two. So yarn over and pull through one and two. And in that second chain from the hook, we are just going to put one single crochet. So go into that chain, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And that's row one. <laughs> Easy enough. Let's chain up one and turn the work around. Okay. And we're going to be working now in this stitch right here. And we're going to put three single crochets in there. I know my yarn is covering it right now. There we go. Go into there. Okay. Yarn over and pull through. We're putting three single crochets in that same stitch. So yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. So there's one. Go back in for two. And go back in for three. So you should have three single crochets on row two. Going on to row three, let's chain up one, turn the work around. And now what we're going to do is put two single crochets in this first stitch, one and two. Then one single crochet in the next stitch, one. And then two single crochets in the last stitch. So on row three here, you should have five single crochets. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Let's chain one and turn our work around. And for row four, we are going to single crochet across. So no increasing here. We're just going to put one single crochet in each of these five stitches. One, two, three. Here's four and five. Okay, and that was row four. 
Going on to row five, we're going to chain up one and turn the work around. And we are going to put two single crochets in the first stitch. Okay, kind of just repeating row three here. So two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet in each of the next three stitches until one stitch is left. And when we have only one stitch left, we're going to put two single crochets in this last stitch right here. Okay, so for row five, we'll have seven stitches. One and two here. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now for row six here, we're gonna chain up one and repeat row four, where we're just going to single crochet across for the same number, seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then going on to row seven, we are going to chain up one and turn our work around, and we are going to increase. We are going to put two single crochets in the first and last stitch, and one single crochet in each stitch in the middle here. So that's five stitches in the middle here. So one, two, next stitch is three, here's four, and five. Okay, I'm on my last stitch now, so like I said, put two single crochets in there. Okay, so for row seven, we'll have nine stitches across here. Let's chain one and turn our work around. For row eight, we're going to repeat row four. Just put one single crochet in each stitch across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and last one here is nine. Okay, now for row nine, we're going to chain up one and turn our work around. Okay, row nine is our last row on here. We're going to increase. Put two single crochets in the first stitch then one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So let's count here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then this last st stitch right here gets two single crochets, one and two. So you should have 11 stitches on row nine. Now, if you want to, you can add wire around this piece and single crochet around the whole thing, but I'm not going to. It's a small enough piece that I don't need it. So I'm going to chain one and turn my work around. And we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch across here, but we're also going to work around this whole piece, down this side and then up this side. When you get to this corner and this corner and then back to this corner up here, make sure you have three stitches in each of those little spots. So I'm just going to single crochet around this whole triangle, and then I'll meet you up and we will fasten off. All right, to finish, we're gonna slip stitch to the first single crochet right here, yarn over and pull through and through. Okay, so we have a little triangle. Looks like a little, little piece of pizza. <laughs> Maybe I'm just hungry, I don't know. Anyway, let's chain one and cut our yarn, uh, cut a long strand for sewing. We could use this for sewing later. So pull that all the way through and pull it tight. So we have that. So make sure you make another one of these. So you have two, so we have another one right here, just like this. We have two of them, the same. Now all we have to do is, well we have this piece and this piece done, so now we just have to make these little jewels. So I'm just gonna show you how to make one and you can make the rest of them. So grab your blue yarn or the same jewel color that you used on this piece right here. So I'm going to grab my Delft blue and then set all of this aside here. Okay, make a slip knot and insert your hook. Now for these pieces, these little drop, they look like little raindrops almost. 
raindrop, drop top. So what we're gonna do is chain two, yarn over, pull through, one and two. And in the second chain from the hook, we are going to put a series of stitches. We are going to put a, a two single crochets, so go into that second chain right there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, go back in for another single crochet, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so there's two single crochets. Now we're gonna put two half double crochets, so yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. One, again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then we have to put one double crochet, so yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then we have to put two more half double crochets, one and two. Okay, and then we're going to put two more single crochets, one and two. But to make that point at the top there, we're going to chain two, one and two, and then slip stitch to the first single crochet right in here. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through that loop on your hook, pull tight, chain one, cut your yarn long for sewing, pull that through that chain one, and then pull tight and then you can kind of shape your little drop. Now on mine here, you can see there's like a little hole right in the center here. So I'm gonna take that little strand in the beginning when we made our slip knot, and I'm gonna sew that in at the base of the stitches from that round. Just like this, and then that cinches it closed. And that's really nice. And it sews in this end, so we can snip it then when we have it completely closed. Just be careful with your scissors, we just snip that. And that's the back side. So flip it over to the front, and you have yourself a little gem. <laughs> Looks like a raindrop. So just make two more, or I guess actually make uh, two, three, four, five more of these. You have to make five of them for to have um, six total because I already made these three. So three per triangle. So I'm gonna have this one here. Okay, so I'm gonna make two more here and then I'll show you how to attach them. Center piece. All right, so I've sewed on these two pieces. I just want to show you how to sew on one, but it's pretty straightforward, very similar to how the other pieces we've sewn on together are. So just uh, the positioning is the main thing. So these two side ones up here, you just want to sew each one to each point of the triangle. So we're just going to go attach it to here, right there, and then just go through and then back and forth through. Okay, and obviously I'm doing it a little bit faster for the camera, but you can take your time and attach these pieces how you like them. Just make sure they're positioned correctly. Okay, you wanna end on the back side. Okay, literally only need like two or three stitches in there. And then go to the back side go underneath a couple of those stitches and just like I showed you earlier, keep your finger in that loop Come back through that loop and pull. Okay, and you can do that once or twice. I'll do it twice here. And then just sew in this end underneath a couple of the stitches in the back here. Just hiding that. And then snip it. Okay, just like that. So just sew on all three of these. Make sure you make another one exactly the same. Now, since I have sewn this one on this side like this, this next one has to be sewn on on the opposite side. Okay, so when you're looking at the chest or the front of the person wearing this, they're not both on the same side because obviously that would look weird. So we want to make sure that this one is sewn on this side and this one is sewn on this side, okay? So to do that, 
we're just going to position this and what I ended up doing was I put on this shoulder I'm going to show you my back here but I, sh I put on the shoulder piece on my neck here okay and then I actually measured across my front to this side where this shoulder piece then fits okay so we're measuring from this corner to this corner and on me it's 10 inches on you it may be different so you want to measure across your chest sorry my beats are in the way but oh and I lost one so you just want to measure across your chest where each shoulder piece um, lies then you want to take half that measurement okay so mine is 10 inches from one shoulder piece to the other shoulder piece so mine's 10 inches so half of that is five so you want to make sure that this is five inches across from this point here to this end of this triangle here okay so let's measure what I maybe I hopefully did it right if it's a little more no biggie so yeah mine's actually exact okay you can see my little the raindrop piece right there so it's right to the five inch mark right there so that's perfect so we want to make sure that this piece is also five inches so we're gonna put five here work across here so I still have a, about a half inch to go so we're just gonna attach this piece and I'm gonna lie it down so I have more control we're gonna lie this on top of here and then measure across where it should be okay right about here so we want it to be half of that portion of your chest measurement so right about here so I'm going to sew this on with this strand across here on this piece right here I ended up using a piece from the ball of yarn and I just sewed across in the back here um, and you can't even tell though because I use the same color of yarn but I have this strand to sew with for later so that's on that piece but you want to just make sure that it's a opposite to what you made for the first piece so say you made this piece and your triangle is on this side then you want to make sure this piece has your triangle on the opposite side like I was telling you earlier and we're just gonna go into the crescent piece the the piece that looks like a banana I guess <laughs> and this piece looks like a pizza and I'm very hungry now so I'm gonna sew this on might take a food break and then come back and we'll make then the piece so then after this is all sewn together we're gonna make the piece that goes behind here and it's gonna be more of like a half circle piece so I'm gonna sew this on just fasten off just like you would um, how I showed you the these jewel parts here just fasten off like that and then once you have all your pieces all attached I'll meet you up and we'll make the all right once you have all those pieces done let's make the half circle piece that goes behind everything so let's make a slip knot we're using the same color as our main color here and what we're going to do is chain two so yarn over and pull through one and two and we're going to be working with half double crochets for this part we're going to put four half double crochets in the second chain from the hook so yarn over go in to that second chain yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook okay just like that let me grab this hook because this is better there we go yarn over go back in yarn over pull through there we go and then yarn over and pull through all three loops okay so there's two yarn over go back in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and again another half double crochet so you should have four half double crochets on row one now let's chain our oh, chain one here and turn the work around Okay, so we are now on row two, we're going to put two half double crochets in each stitch across. So yarn over, go into this first stitch right here, then yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. There's one, go back in for another one. Okay, so we're going to do two half double crochets in each stitch across here. So one and two, hop to the next. 
one and two. And the next one here, one and two. Okay, so you should have eight half double crochets on row two. Let's chain up one and turn the work around. And now we are going to put two half double crochets in the first stitch. Okay, here's one and two. And then one half double crochet in the next stitch. And just repeat that sequence all the way across. So put two half double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one half double crochet in the next. Okay, so two in the next, and then just one in the next. And I'm almost done with this row, I just have to do one more repeat here. Two in the next, and then one in the last stitch of this row. So for row three, you should have 12 stitches across. So let's chain up one and turn the work around going on to row four here. We're going to put two half double crochets in the first stitch, one and two, and then one half double crochet in the next two stitches this row. So one and one. Okay, and then just repeat that sequence all the way across. So put two half double crochets in the next stitch, and then one half double crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. Two half double crochets in the next, and then one half double crochet in the next two. And again, I'm almost done with this row, so you can just continue watching. One and two, and then one and one. Okay, going on to the next row, well you should have 16 stitches at the end of row four. So one, two, three, four, yep, going on to row five, let's chain up one, turn our work around. Okay, you can start to see the half circle shape is really coming together here. So row, row five says to put two half double crochets in the first stitch, one and two, and then one half double crochet in the next three stitches this row. So one, two, and three. Okay, and then just repeat that sequence across here. So two half double crochets in the next stitch, and then one half double crochet in the next three stitches. At the end of this row, you should have 20 stitches, 20 half double crochets, so I am halfway there. I'll meet you up and we'll go on to our last row. All right, chain up one and turn your work around. Going on to row six now, we are going to put two half double crochets in this first stitch, one and two, and then one half double crochet, let's see, last row is three, so this row is four stitches. The next four stitches will just get one half double crochet. So one, next one is two, here's three, and the next one is four. And just repeat that sequence then all the way across. So put two half double crochets in the next stitch, and then one half double crochet in the next four stitches. And just repeat. So do that at the end of row six, you should have 24 single, or I'm sorry, half double crochets. I don't know why I was gonna say single crochets, but uh, we're gonna do that and then I'll meet you up at the end of this row and we'll go on to the next step. All right, just finishing this row here. We are going to fasten this off, so chain one and uh, cut your yarn long for sewing. Pull that all the way through and pull tight. Okay, so there's your half circle. You can kind of stretch it out, make sure that it's looking like a half circle. Okay, just like this. Looks really good. So now we're going to grab our pieces. You know what, actually, we're going to make one of these circles. Uh, this is the jewel that's going to fit right in the center here, and you want to make it exactly like you made these side jewels on our shoulder piece earlier. So just make one more of these. That was rounds one and two, just putting six single crochet in the second chain from the hook, and then round two was putting two single crochets in each stitch around. So we wanna make another one of those 
I've already made one because I already showed you. If you need to, you can rewind this video to see how I made that piece. But uh, it's just a simple circle for two rounds, just six um, stitches and then 12 stitches. And we're just going to sew this into the center of, the, actually the upper center. Okay, so more closer to the top here. And I'm just going to sew this applique on. So again, if you need to see how I made this piece, you can rewind this video to the shoulder side embellishment pieces because that's exactly the same thing. So I'm just going to sew this on real quick. Fasten off just like I showed you for these little drops here. Uh, just fasten off like those. And once this is all sewn on, I'll show you how to sew this half circle piece to the rest of your pieces that we made. All right, so I just sewed this little piece on, and I also sewed in my little straggler end that was in the middle here, so everything is all sewn on. Now we have this long strand for sewing, so what we're going to do is align these pieces now, okay, just like this next to each other, and we're going to slide this one in the back, okay, but not too low. We want it to peek out the top pretty nicely. But again, you don't want to see, if you if you see here, and this is like this, you can see the space here. You don't want to see any space. So you want to make sure that you line it up nicely where you don't see anything behind it. Okay? So just line it up. Make it look really good. If you need to, you can pin it down. And then what we're going to do is take this long strand from the half circle piece and yarn our needle with that okay and if you want to you can turn everything around here and we're gonna put it right about there make sure that it's centered make sure that this jewel right here is also centered make sure it looks good There we go. I'm going to take my time on this piece because this is my only piece that I have, so I don't want to mess up even on camera. Okay. You want to make sure these pieces also get sewn together. So what we're going to do is just go in and out of these pieces across the bottom of this thing. And I know it's going to be a little difficult to show you. I can kind of lift it up here. There we go. Okay, bring this piece in right about here. Okay, don't worry, I'll come back and attach these two pieces later. Just going back and forth here. Okay, then I'm going to turn this around real quick so you can see. See how it's kind of flimsy here? We're going to sew up in here and in here to kind of keep it all together as one, okay? So I'm just going to come up on these stitches to pin that down. Okay, and then come back down. And you can kind of feel on the back side where you need to go so you can kind of just manipulate your piece and move it around however you need it to go and just sew this down. Okay, at this point I'm going to sew these two pieces together in the middle right here. Okay, so I'm going to bring them together as close as possible without them overlapping. 
go into this one. And then come out this one. And that's secure. Okay, you can do that once or twice if you want. Maybe I'll do two. Stuck. There we go. Okay, so that's secure, but I still have to sew up this side right here. So I'm going to go up into my piece and just tack that down. Okay then you want to end on this back side here okay so we want to end on this side and make sure before you um, fasten off make sure all your pieces are attached and looking good all the way across here that looks so awesome wow wow okay sweet <laughs> I'm really happy and I'm super excited for this costume so now we're just gonna go underneath a few of these stitches here oh my gosh wow I just fasten off. I'm just fastening off. I'm super excited after seeing that all put together. I am super excited. That looks so incredible. And I'm screwing up as I as I'm so excited now. Oh my goodness. Okay. Sorry, I'm taking this apart because I actually there we go. Just didn't tie the knot correctly. Okay, so now I'm just gonna weave in this end. A needle came off of my yarn here, so I'm going to um, just sew in this end real quick. So you want to make sure all your pieces are sewn together here. And then snip that. Okay, so now, this is what it should look like. This is so super fabulous. Wow. Okay, now what we want to do, this front part is complete. What we want to do now is measure this. Make sure that it is the 10 inches across, and it definitely is. You can stretch this out just a little bit if we need to. Yep, 10 inches right from drop to drop. Okay, 10 inches is about 26 centimeters, or a little less, maybe 25 centimeters. So that is how long this sh mine should be. So now we're going to introduce these shoulder pieces. This one is here, and this one is here. Make sure, I know mine is kind of, I dropped it earlier, so it's kind of messed up, but just make sure to shape it the way you need it to be. Make sure that your outer sides are toward the outside, okay? And we're going to attach this now here and here, okay? Just like this. Wow. This is incredible just incredible I'm so excited about this okay so what we're going to do I have this strand already on here so I'm just gonna grab my yarn needle and we are going to take this piece of yarn here attach this to the outer corner of this shoulder okay as low as you can go I guess right on the corner there Okay, and I'm going to go into the shoulder pad, shoulder piece. Okay, and I'm just going to sew this now onto it, kind of pinning it down, making sure that I have it secure completely. You want it to be completely secure, maybe go around, you know, five, six times. That should be good. Awesome. Yep. You can pull on it, stretch it, make sure that it's attached, and then just secure it by fastening off behind here in the back side. Just tie a few knots and then weave in your ends. Oh 
oh my gosh i am so excited now about this halloween thing i can't get over it okay then i'm gonna do the same exact thing on the opposite side okay so this one here make sure again the shoulder piece is on the outside facing outward okay attach this here grab that yarn i'm gonna grab a yarn from the ball of yarn now because i don't have any strand of yarn on this one here Okay, going in from the inside and doing the same exact thing. Okay, so just fasten this one off the same way and uh, once I have these two pieces attached, uh, or all of these pieces all attached, I'll meet you up because we still have to make the back side, I'm going to turn this around real quick to show you, we have to make the back side attachment that attaches this shoulder to this shoulder and then this can all just sit on the, on your like collar area around your shoulders and everything so I'll meet you up when I have this all attached and all my ends all sewn in and everything and we will go on to making the back side all right for the back side we are going to start with a slip knot you already know how to do that and I measured my back, well I had my dad measure my back and from shoulder to shoulder where we have these ending right here to right here, this corner to this corner, uh, my back measures 15 inches. I know this front piece measured 10 inches across, but that's because it's closer together in the front. And we want the back on the shoulders to, if you want to, you can put these on your shoulders and measure from this corner to this corner and see how far across that is. Mine ended up being 15 inches, okay? But what we're going to do is um, increase we're gonna make a shape like kind of similar to like a tra I think it's a trapezoid but um, it's a different shape so where you want to measure across here how many that is and then we can go on to making this so for mine I'm going to actually subtract two inches from that so 13 inches and I want to make a chain that's 13 inches and for me with this G hook it's going to take me 50 chains to make this 13 inches now you can chain as many as you need to across here and then you'll see the repeat rows um, after row one so let's just chain an amount that you need mine's gonna be 50 so once I chain 50 I'll meet you up when once you have as many chains as you need, uh, this is how it should look, I'm actually going to add one more chain. So it's actually going to be 51 chains, okay? Because I want 50 stitches on my first row. So the loop on the hook doesn't count as a stitch, and we are, or a chain, sorry, a chain. We're going to skip this first chain here, and we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So you've seen what I've done already, is turn the chain toward me, going into that second chain, right? here yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay single crochet so that's what we're doing for row one is just single crocheting across so at the end of this row we'll have 50 single crochets okay so it might be different for you depending on your back measurement but I am going to chain or I'm sorry, single crochet all the way across the chain uh, and I'll have 50 stitches at the end of this row. So I'll do that and then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to row two together. All right, finishing up row one, we're just going to put a single crochet there. All right, so this is what your row should look like. Very simple, single crochet across. So now we are gonna go on to row two and row two says to chain up one, turn your work around, and in the first stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. So this very first stitch right here, we're going to put two single crochets in there. So one, go back in for two. Then what we're going to do is single crochet, just put one single crochet in each stitch until one stitch is left. And when we have one stitch left, I'll meet you up, show you what to do in there, and we'll go on to row three. When you have one stitch left on row two, just make sure to put two single crochets in the last stitch. So one, go back in for two. 
Okay, just like that. So you have two single crochets in the first and last stitch of this row. And now we're going to just repeat row two until we have 58 stitches. So um, we're going to repeat, let's see, row two has 52 stitches because we increased on the first and last stitch. We were at 50 at row one. Two extra stitches on row two is 52 stitches. Turn in your work and chain up one, just like this. And now for rows three, four, and five, we are repeating row two. Just put two single crochets in the first and last stitch and put one single crochet in each stitch in between. And I'm going to do that same concept for rows three, four, and five. Okay, when I'm finished with row five, I will have 58 stitches and then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to row six together. All right, so when you finish row five, you should have 58 stitches. This is what it should look like. One, two, three, four, five. And now if you want to, you can measure this piece. It should be the length on your back that you need it to be. So we can measure this out. Mine measures 15 inches. Oh, sorry, my hand's in the way. There we go, 15 inches. Okay, so that's that. So now we just have to do a few more rows just to get at the height that we need. So at this point, you can do it as, um, as tall as you want yours to be. I'm just gonna do three rows, but you can do it, like I said, as big or as tall as you want your back piece to be. So let's chain up one and turn our work around. And we're just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch across here. That's for rows six, seven, and eight. Okay, so just putting one single crochet in each stitch across, no more increasing at this point, just putting one stitch in each, uh, one single crochet in each stitch across. Then chain one, turn your work, and just put one single crochet in each stitch across. And that's for rows six, seven, and eight, or if you want to go on to row nine, 10, or 11, or 12, or however tall you want to make your piece. I'm going to stop at row eight. And then I'll meet you up and we'll fasten off this piece and attach it to our bigger piece. All right, just finishing up this piece here. When you're done, you want to chain one and then cut your yarn sort of long because we'll use that for sewing and then pull that all the way through and pull it tight just like that and then we're going to grab our yarn needle I'm gonna sew in this end that's down here from where we had our slip knot so I'm just going to yarn my needle with that and then just go underneath the stitches just to sew that end in but don't sew in the end that we just cut and fastened off with we're gonna use that for sewing to our actual shoulder piece and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute here let me sew this in and then trim the extra awesome now let's grab our shoulder piece here the big giant piece okay and we're going to attach this one to this corner right here and you can either decide if you want it over the top or underneath that is totally up to you how you want to or you can just attach it right to the edge as well so that's uh, again creator's choice so I'm just going to I think I liked it when it was behind this piece so I'm just gonna put it just a little bit in just like that, kind of overlapped on that. And then just come through the stitches of the shoulder piece. And I'm going through to the back, through this to this piece as well. And then coming back through to the front. And just sew it on, you know, going back and forth, just basically just tacking it together. Okay, and then you want to, I'll do one more here. Okay, and then you want to end on the inside, so go back in to the inside here. Okay, I'm going to flip this inside out, just like this. And we're going to go underneath a few of the stitches. Keep your finger in the loop and just fasten off like I showed you earlier how to fasten off. Okay, just like that. I'm going to do it twice. There we go. Okay. Then just sew in this end 
and now we have to attach the other side. So the other side is a little different because there's no yarn attached to that side. So what we have to do is grab the yarn from the ball of yarn and yarn our needle with that. Okay, position this where you want it to be. Okay, equal to the other side. Okay, right about there. And then just sew it on from the inside out. You can see I'm going from underneath here to the inside out. And just tack it on just like you did the other side. Okay. And then we're going to fasten off. Let me let me just get there real quick so I can show you. I'm just going to go a little faster for the camera here. So you want to end on the inside, there we go, okay, make sure it's secure, go to the inside, we're going to cut our yarn both strands long, um, long just like that, okay, and we're going to, uh, you can either tie them in a knot or you can tie them both off like we did the other side, I'm going to tie them in a knot because they're right there, and then we're just going to grab our yarn needle here and sew in these two ends underneath our work and that's it and then I think this piece is complete if you want to you can embellish or embroider this back piece as well I think I'm gonna actually do that too uh, just like we sewed on the swirls of the shoulders these swirls here okay I'm gonna sew on a little triangle on the back all right, so this piece is attached and done. So what I'm going to do is just take my yarn, make a slip knot real quick, and chain an amount that is good for a triangle. And you already know how to sew this on, so let me just get there and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do. I don't want to skip any steps. So, all right, so I'm going to just place this in the center back here. I'm just going to make a mini triangle, just like this. That's good enough. Okay, I'm going to cut my yarn long for sewing and pull it through that last chain just to make sure that it is secure. And then I'm just going to sew, sew this on exactly how I sewed on those other chains to our shoulder pieces. So I'm just going to do that, and then once this is all sewn on, I will meet you up and we will be done. All right, there it is. I just embroidered this piece on. Well, I sewed on this chain, so there's a little triangle on that center back there, and it's all nice and embellished, and we are done. Huge thank you for watching and learning how to make this piece. This was a lot of work, and I'm really excited for Halloween. I'm really excited to wear this. Um, this beautiful, beautiful princess shoulder armor. Thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn. A big thank you to my dad for filming and editing and taking the fabulous photos for this. This was a lot of fun to make. It's a lot of small pieces, but it turned out so wonderfully. And you know what? You can embellish it however you want. So make sure to share your photos on Facebook and Instagram, hashtag Yarn Utopia if you share it on Instagram. And uh, yeah, happy hooking. Bye guys.